We're on Baba Metziah, Parak Gimel, Mishnah Gimel. Third Mishnah, third chapter of Masechet Baba Metziah. Amar Lishnayim, a person said to two people, Gazalti lecha mikem mana ve'eni yodei zemikem. This is very similar to a Mishnah we learned in the end of Baba Kama. I stole mana, a hundred, whatever, a mana from you. Okay, I stole from one of you. Ve'eni yodei me zemikem, I don't know which one. And they didn't claim anything. Or, Aviv shall echad mikem nefki li mana, one of your fathers. I asked him to watch a mana, ve'eni yodei zehu. And I don't know which one it is. He has to give, he gives each one, he doesn't have to. He should give each one a mana. That he admitted on his own accord, on his own volition, he admitted. And what's going on here? Here, there, nobody's claiming anything for him. And he goes to them and he says, I stole from, they don't know. And I, he says, I stole each, I stole a mana from one of you, and I don't know who. This is not in a court of law, but rather he wants to Fulfill Yedei Shemaim, the will of heaven. I mean, he wants to set things straight. Okay, so then in order to set things straight, Notein Lezemana, Lezemana, since he knows he stole from one of them, he doesn't know who, in order to be at say, the day Shemaim, he has to pay both of them. Aval, but in the case of Shnaim Shittavahu Behodesh Agazamiach, let's say two people claim, both claim, and he agrees that he stole from one of them, but doesn't know uh, who he stole from. Yishava Kol Echad Mehem Shalom Gazal. Then in the other case, if they're claiming, then the claimants should take a, each one would take a note that they were stolen from. And he, and then he had to pay each one. Why? Because he violated the prohibition of do not steal. So then in the case where each, where each one of them is claiming from him, then it's a knas. It's a fine. So he has to pay each one of them. Even though we know he only stole once, he has to pay both of them. The same thing is true. If both people claim that 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 Avi hivkira tzachamana, and he says, "Yeah, one of them do it. I don't know which one of them." Then again, we learn that each one of them, each one of them, then takes a takes an uh, an oath. Nishba, okay. Even lezemana lezemana the ihu pashal enafshei. Meaning, if a person says, "Yes, I know you got one of your parents, one of your fathers gave to me. I don't know who," that's considered shia. That's negligence. He should have been more careful and remember who gave him the mana. So, if, to conclude, if he said, Amar Lashnaim, and he wants to be Yosei Dei Shamayim, then he has to pay both of them. Okay? If they claim of him and he doesn't know and he stole, then, then, then he has to, then they have to take an oath and then he still pays both of them because he was either negligent or shouldn't have stolen in the first place. We'll stop here. Dedicate our learning. Remember, my father, Rav, Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a good day.